You already know what it is. How's your boy? It's LAK Us TV. Yeah. Live and direct. Making it connect. As we proceed to give you what you need. Yes. Um, why is it important as we dive in? Um to invest in yourself and invest in your brand and believe in your brand. And why would someone want to buy your brand? It's very easy. Very, very easy. The reason why someone would want to buy in my brand is because I spent money to invest in it, right? So if I was willing to invest in my brand, then that gives you the incentive and that leads forth with the initiative for you to think that he believed in his self so much in the ideology of his brand that he was willing to sacrifice and put up his own money to go through the process of building a brand and created an infrastructure, not just for himself, but for other people to see the process so that they can take the steps and initiatives to do it for themselves, right? And instead of me critiquing Right, other people's brands. What I did earlier on in my career, and what I still do is I put on the brand, right? And I advertise it and I become the billboard, even if they were on a small platform of building their um success, their uh brand, their philosophy of what the brand meant to them, even if it didn't break through the threshold of getting to the next level such as myself, there's still room for them to even get back to that level because the platform that I'm building allows people to become a part of a system and to also be their own bosses of a system, right? Without me critiquing them, especially if I'm representing <clears throat> a minority or a community that doesn't really have opportunity. So instead of me critiquing them and breaking them down and saying, well, your brand isn't this or your brand isn't that. What I did was I said, you know what? You want to be a boss? You want to be a brand? Put that symbol on your shirt. Rock that symbol. And it's not to knock the designers that's already out there, right? But you got to think of the psychology of what fashion is and what... um brand representation is and how support from the community can leverage your brand and leverage success for yourself and other people. Because, for example, one time I got um, profiled, right, because I was um, looking successful and I was smelling successful and um, they said I looked suspicious because I look successful in a place where the makeup of my color <clears throat> wasn't the norm, right, in the system, in the community where I was um, working in and, I, and, and where I presented myself that day, right? So... When when I got a uh, when they attempted to question my integrity, they said, "Wow!" They went through my stuff and they seen that I've invested in my brand and my hats. So I had I had like you know a few hats in there, and they said, "Wow! I like your hat. I like this brand, right?" And they said, "What brand is this?" And I said, "It's my brand." And they said, "Oh, how much is a hat?" I said, seventy five bucks." They said, "Damn! Why that hat so expensive?" And I'm looking at the person, and they had a Gucci bag. And I said, how much you pay for that bag? $600, right? You never met this person before. You probably don't even know the history or the makeup of the brand, right? But someone that looked like you, right, uh, threw out a price out there that was way less than the brand that you got on, and there's no knock to no designers, right? Or no fashion designers, because I rock all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So in in the same breath, I'm like, okay, my hat is only $75 compared to your $500 bag. Invest. And I'm not out here uh, doing what you thought I was doing. I'm actually 
presenting myself and my brand and representing my brand based off of um, my um, ingenuity and innovational skills that was presented at the time when you were judging me to be someone that I wasn't and I'm here presenting you of who I am. You feel me? So it's important not to judge um, entrepreneurs on the come up, but allow them to um, have a guide or present them with a process that could get them to a level such as yourself, right? And um, not try to um, diminish their dreams by telling them that yo, your brand is this or your brand is not this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to I'm gonna rock the brand even when the brands don't even get to that level or make it to that level, like I said. I'm going to keep rocking my brand to show you my belief system in what I represent and who I am. So I think there needs to be, I don't think there needs to be, I know there needs to be infrastructures and systems just like how Jack Ma put systems in place, how Jeff Bezos put systems in place, Elon Musk and all these different people and all these different brands. There has to be, especially in America, America really doesn't have that um, super, other than Amazon, you know, there's Shopify and all these different companies and stuff like that, but also they're integrated with overseas right? And people are complaining that they can't receive their packages or everything is coming from China, so they have to wait 20, 30, 40 days. But at the same time, there is no system, no factory, there's no uh, super system, right, that is creating that avenue, right? Especially in the minority community, right? And when it's placed in the minority computer, I mean, I don't even know why I'm calling it the minority community. In a black community, in the Hispanic community and stuff like that. When it's placed in those communities and when someone of color is trying to do these things, it get critiqued and we get uh, tested to see if we're valid or not because we thought outside the box and um, our, 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 our integrity gets questioned and we got to go through this, this testing of screening to see who we really are, to see if we're really valid and stuff like that. When, when all you could do is, you know, create event systems where we could teach the system of how to put things together and how to put things in place and not judge people when they're not at the level of where you think they should be or you get to a level and then you forget about the levels that you started from, right, that got you to that level, right? So that's what um, I'm aware of. And sometimes you take a step back to see, okay, let me see what this person says and let me see the demands of this industry and this market. And let me see how they treat people of this, um, the same makeup, right? So they're going to be like, okay, well, I see you trying to get in the game, but I'm already in the game, but I'm going to make it hard for you. And here's all the rules that you're going to have to follow and the criteria that you got to follow. And if you're not doing like this and you're not doing like this, then you're not going to be successful or you can't be successful in this realm of community because we move like this and we operate like this. But I'm like, yo, I'm bringing a system that or systems, right, or different ways of doing things that like, yo, you ain't even thought of or you, you don't understand or here's a different angle or avenue. So if I come in the game through this angle, does it mean that your way is right or my way is wrong and stuff like that? So that it becomes a debate. Right. And then they want to have a debate of like, OK, who's right, who's wrong, what system works or what's cool or what's not cool and who could do this and who could do that. When simply all you had to do was come together, uh, bring systems together that are simplified so that the people that are jet lagged in the up and coming um, ventures and technologies and all that stuff that exists now, which the school systems don't teach. Right. There has to be simplified structure that are that are implemented in the curriculum of schools, in the curriculums of events, in the curriculums of the community that allow people to understand the concept of technology, the transition to change and putting things together. Right. That's why the older community and the younger community, they clash because there has to be. Um simplicity in the gray area of understanding and in the meetings of like-minded people 
You feel me? And when they're not like minded, what system is being implemented so that people can coexist without battling and debating about the right and wrong of what's not right and wrong and what's right or wrong or what's just is at the moment and what's going to change in the next five to 10 years to 20 years because technology is going to keep evolving. Look at the evolution of the iPhone. Look at the evolution of computers. Look at the evolution of uh, fashion. Look at the evolution of how stores are ran. Look at the evolution from malls to online stores. How do we take the people that were working in the stores and implement technology, right? Or implement systems so that they can transition and not feel left out in the modern day society if we're not taught these things and these people are like yo everything is uh made in china made in taiwan or made in these different places which have systems right which allow people to have um freedom in in, in e-commerce right based off of the implemented system and guys that are being taught to them in ways that we still haven't grasp yet why are we still living like we're in the 1960s and these other countries are like super futurama and got all of these super high tech technologies that are like blasting us out of the world or we may have it but it's not introduced or the way it's introduced is not very it's not cool so you got to have guys such as myself who make things cool right who make this the 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 the, the uh the um the complexity of 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 what uh things are and we, we gotta have guys like myself that simplify these things so that people be like okay now I want to be a part of it now I see where you was coming from now I understand the the, the thinking now I understand the, the way that you think now that I understand that oh it wasn't a battle of uh, religion or it wasn't a battle of black and white or it wasn't a battle battle of colors and stuff like that it wasn't a battle of that it was a battle of how do I take the psychology of of how we're trapped and enslaved to simplify the communication between a child and their and their and their parent um an old person and a new young boss, you feel me? Um, a, a, a black person and a white person, a person that can speak English and a person that don't know how to speak English. Because before language existed, people had to uh, communicate through certain types of energies and exchange systems. Even if they didn't know how to speak the same language, there were systems of barter and there were implemented languages that, that wasn't spoken right but they understood what was going on but how do we implement that right and ever and evolve that right into systems and technology because we got there so far with the iphone and the touch systems and the holograms and stuff like that but how do we introduce it in a community to where that our community don't look like the 1960s and the 1950s and stuff like that how do we do that and if we're going to look and, and mimic those times, how do we modernize those looks and make it super 2050, 3010 stuff, whatever, you feel me? How do you do that? Gotta have people that are in tune with themselves and in tune with uh, the community and people and people who take their time away from the environment to build these concepts of thinking and how to put things in place and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So it's not cool to down the up and coming people. And it's also not cool, right? To, 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 to not people who find simplify ways of, doing business and finding ways to get it done because it's cool to work hard right and it's, it's nothing to that because my grandfather used to say the world is made up of us all right us tv holla at your boy you feel me the world is made up of us all right so they gotta be a construction worker they gotta be a nurse they gotta be um 
a trained conductor. There has to be um, a real estate agent. There has to be a broker. There has to be all these different people. But it's a choice, right? But don't knock the people who find other ways to get it done. Because you can become successful by working through your phone, right? Because that's why apps were invented. Because apps were invented for you to simplify or find ways to compact uh, systems, technologies, and thinkings and put them in a system that allows you to operate in the way that you want to operate based off the choices that you made and not being judged based off the choices that you made because it's different from how other people get work done. You feel me? Because some people like, okay, for myself, like I put in labor. I did things that I wanted to um, or I tried different avenues of um, employment and stuff like that. Um, do I knock it? No, because it leveraged me and put me in different positions to get to where I need to. At the same time, I found innovative ways that I could create on my own, or I found ways that other people introduced me to so I could leverage myself to the next level of occupation or um, e-commerce or finding a way to channel and funnel my money or finding a way to um, be free in the um, abundance of what I want in life and creating a system and stuff like that to um, make myself have free time for my family and my kids. You feel me? That's my um, choices that I made in life because I wanted to have freedom and time. So when someone is saying, okay, you're not doing this or you're not doing that. No, 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 no. I simply created a lifestyle for myself so that I could have free time to build with my kids so that I could teach my kids and teach my peers how to get to a level faster than I did so that I can be leveraged or I can leverage them. And we don't have to go through that same cycle of, yo, man, it's hard out here. And how do I figure this out? And how I'm going put to put this together? And how do I, how do I, uh, um, uh, figured out this and these bills are stacking up and how do you like how do you minimize that like right now I don't have a lot of bills I don't have a lot of bills right and that's the reality of it because and that people be like oh well the bills make you a man the bills don't make you a man what makes you a man is the 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 allocation of your assets putting together as a leverage to create more money for yourself while you sleep so that you can minimize your expenses and stack your profits so that you can make choices of where else you want to put your money. And you can also have the freedom of time to spend with your loved ones. Because if you're not going to have this freedom of time to spend with your loved ones if you have mad bills and mad expensive, which is going to create anxieties, worries. Um, it's going to desperation. You feel me? It's going to create... Um, um, crazy thoughts or make you do stuff that you don't want to do, right? And you're going to feel upset when you're seeing people doing what they want to do when you're not in the position to do what you want to do, right? So right now is I don't have the time to sit and judge someone who I see up and coming, right? And telling someone like, yo, your brand is trash or your brand doesn't represent, look professional yet. Nobody started. Well, I started at the top. You feel me? That was the first, that was the brand that we had. <laughs> that was the brand that we had, and then I branched off as a boss, right, to create my own brand, right, because of what I wanted to do and the freedom of choice that I have, right, to create for the like-minded people like myself and my tribe right that's out there that are, they're also doing what they want to do right so the goal was to encourage and put confidence in people that are creators right that's why my brand is so important that's why the lot shirt is so um valuable it's not expensive maybe we may look at the price and be like okay damn that shit does cost a lot but it's for the people to understand value and the value comes from labor. And the labor the labor is the process that that made 
the t-shirt, the, 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 the finding the vendor, finding the design, building it, finding the money for it, putting the money to build it, right? Uh, putting it on a platform, marketing it. That is time. Time is the money. So I'm putting time together to be like, okay, I took this amount of time to create a product that's going to represent a certain mindset and a certain makeup of what people are, are and how they think, you feel me? And a tribe of people that move in a certain way. So here's my gift to people, but it cost. You feel me? My gift cost. So that's just a price of one of my pieces, you feel me, that I present on a platform. And it's not cool to um down the products or to down the creators when they're creating because they need um confidence, they need encouragement, they need direction, they need platforms. You know how many people got mad creations and they don't know how to like put the things together technically and they get frustrated and they like, yo, fuck this. I'm gonna go back to the the systematic um a failure system that 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 leads us into systems of destruction and they like yo man i don't like there ain't no way but there is a way right but it's not amplified it's not presented in a way that's like yo boom it's not out there like that it's not being introduced it's not a curriculum so when people don't even know how to put the things together technically and how to uh um, simplify the structure or simplify the system. They like, yo, I don't want to do this no more. They like, I don't want to do this no more. So you gotta have people like myself who don't quit, who stick to the system, who stick to the game plan, who put in the work, who are multifaceted, who can express themselves, who could put things together, who don't go by the rules, right? Going by the, and, and not to say breaking the rules to create destruction. No, breaking the rules to create new ones, to create new avenues of delivery, right? To create new avenues of expression, to create new avenues of creation, to create new avenues of design, to create avenues of lingo. You feel me? To create new avenues of beauty, to create avenues of encouragement, confidence, and stuff like that. People don't have confidence, yo. That's why I like, I don't knock no religion and stuff like that. But it's not about that because you could be of a religion and of faith and all that stuff, but you don't have confidence in yourself. If you're going to preach all these different um, um, dogmas, right, of, of faith and stuff like that, it has to be applied. Applied faith, applied faith, applied action. It has to be known like, yo, bro, it's okay to fail. As a matter of fact, failure don't exist. You made an attempt. It's like shooting a jump shot. When I shoot a jump shot and then do the ball don't go in, that don't stop me from shooting a jump shot again because it's a rim, right? And you have to have skill to put that ball in the basket. Like You got to have skill to put it in there. You feel me? So you got to have skill to make those attempts. You got to have confidence to take a game winning shot. That's something psychological. So what happens is when people don't know about these systems and don't know about these processes, right? And there's people of positions who are in control based off a of systematic um, um, positionism, right? They will deem you as mentally... Uh, retarded or mental you're in mental health or you need help and stuff like that but you have to introduce a system and a way of thinking so that they understand and understand and understand where you're coming from and how you put things together because what's going to happen is when you're trying to get through to someone or you're trying to communicate communicate with someone the projection of them not knowing or them not being able to be a part of that process is going to discourage you from doing what you want to do. And you don't want to get caught up in that um, that feeling 
of not being able to uh, have that confidence into doing what you want to do. So what we need to do is put systems together, right, that allow creators to create on a platform so that they can create their products based off the supply and demand in the community. And if people aren't creators naturally or they don't want to be creators, they can be workers for the people who are creators so that the supply and demand system can run like water and run fluidly. That's why the Art Sums platform is so important because not only did I make it for myself, I also made it for people who are creators that are looking for avenues to present their products, right? Or looking for ways to price their products and deliver their products, right? So that they don't jump off a bridge, so that they don't go robbing people, so that they go don't go doing um, anything crazy that takes them away from their gifts and their talents, right? So your gifts and your talents are being arbitraged based off of um, your willpower and what you want to do and how you want to do it, right? Based off the decisions that you're making, right? And there needs to be people who are not knocking the, the process of creating and delivering a product based off of supply and demand. And if you see someone need help, help them. Put them on. Teach them the process. Or show them the way. Because guess what's going to happen? You meet someone like myself, and you telling me that this ain't this and this ain't that, I can also look at you and be like, yo, this ain't this and this ain't that. So let me come in and be like, okay, here's where you need work. Or here's where your stuff don't work. Or... I see what you're saying, but you don't really look the part. You feel me? But we don't want to get into that because in your world, you are who you are. And in my world, I am who I am. You feel me? So I don't get into debates and stuff like that. But I make my my stance, my stance be known in my stanzas. You feel me? In my Stan Smith. Like I let it be known who I am and what I represent. And I'm going to be who I am and I'm going to represent my brand because I put in that blood, sweat and tears. Right. And that's why the value of my of my products costs what it costs. And there is a market for it for it. And people are trying to block the market or try not to let your product be seen in the market. But it's just naturally out there. It just people's gifts are just natural. You feel me? So my illumination of who I am and what I represent and what I talk about and who I am, it's just natural. It's just natural, right? It's just it's just natural. And that's what people need to get in. Everyone got a natural gift. Everyone got a natural thing about them that you just have to be aware about. You feel me? And I ain't going to knock no one for doing what they need to do or doing it how they want to do it. But don't knock me. You feel me? Don't knock me. You feel me? Because when you try to knock me, I'm going to knock you for... Or I'm not, I'm not going to knock you. I'm just going to make you aware that I'm aware. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make you aware that I'm aware of what I'm doing and what I need to do. And I'm going to focus on what I need to do. So while you're spending time talking shit, I'm going to spend my time talking shit but I'm going to monetize it and I'm going to put it on the platform for my other shit talkers. You feel me? So that we understand what we're talking about and how it's getting done and why it's important for people to be individuals and why it's important for um, systems to be open to people like myself that are important to the culture because we're creatives and we shift culture and we move culture and we have influence. So if I put on your shirt and I put on your brand and I put on your hat or I put on any type of uh, brand that no one knows about and I start rocking it and everyone start rocking it because I am who I am, 
I move culture. I do these things. I I I I influence people. I I can deliver the speech. I can communicate. You feel me? I can create the melodies. I put in the work. I put in the time. I put in the hard work. You feel me? I put in that that I got that confidence. You feel me? I went through the phases. The phases. It's in the book. Become before becoming. I put in the phases. You feel me? I put in that time. I walked the roads. I I I went through the process, the ups and the downs, and I'm qualified. I may be overqualified for certain for certain platforms or certain things. I can I can move the platform. I could change the platform. I can I could generate money. I could create awareness. You feel me? I could turn I could turn five dollars into five trillion. Like I could take the the loans and I could amplify them. You feel me? I could take the structure, or I could bring people who are better at certain avenues and put them together, right? So that they can amplify the the the, the megatron of the system that's supposed to be implemented. Those are the things, and, and that's the thing, like. It's not about me selling myself, but also you do have to sell yourself because people are in position to to talk down on a culture when they're just a fart in the wind. Like, you just a speck. You feel me? Everyone is just a speck in the, in, in the masterpiece of the painting. Like... What did you leave behind? What do you what, what do you bring into the table? What do you bring into the castle? What do you bring into the party? What do you what do you what, like like what 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 makes you different? What's what what are you doing? You feel me? What what what's different from everybody else? I, I'm myself. No one no one has my perception. They may be similar, but no one has my unique perception of how I paint the picture. And that's what's different. So here it is. This is black owned, but this is art owned. This is like, this is this is for the people. You feel me? Like it's a simple black tee with the gold embroidery. You feel me? It's a hat with the gold embroidery with the dad hat for the dads, the real dads. You feel me? The dads that teach their kids naturally. The the dad. You feel me? The, the dad. Yeah, I am. I am. I am that I am. You feel me? I am that I am. So yeah. I'll let your boy, Late Bloomers, L.A.K., Jazz America, Us TV. What's up? I'll let your boy. You already know what it is. Yeah.